Right, my name is Dave Crafer. Smile, say LMS. <laughs> LMS. Born in 1933. I'm an ex railwayman. No, a little bit more towards me. I started in 1947 and I was made redundant 1971. Oh, this is me. We was on our way back from a place called Exminster where we were evacuated during the war. My first job in 1947 at Parson Street signal box as a telegraphist. Every signal box had a book and you record everything that went on there. If something went wrong, a delay, anything like that, the time he passed, was he all right when he passed? You'd look at everything, you'd make sure everything was all right. That was my job, to record it all. At 18, I was called up into the army. When I was in the Royal Signals, I was a wireless operator. With all Morse code in them days. Pardon? Can you say David in Morse? Da 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 da. Diddy diddy da. Did it? Da da da. Da di da de, di da de, di da, di di da de, di, di da de, Crafer. Thank you. <laughs> and that's after sixty odd years. <laughs> Listening to all this static and all that on the radio, picking up the Morse code because you don't miss it. I reckon it made me deaf. It's all right. I can't hear a word. Just as well. <laughs> Well, when I came out of the army, 1953, I took a job back on the railway as a telegraphist at Bristol West Signal Box, just to the west of Temple Meads. Everything was booked, every move, every train. Oh, this is my mate, Dennis. I went down to see him one day. Dennis. Now, he was a man who knew about the railway. He'd done practically everything you want. Engine cleaning, used to look after the steam bridge, signalman, shunter, engine cleaner. He'd done it all. If he was here now, he could tell us a lot of things. He used to be my buddy at South Liberty. When the train went by South Liberty, he'd give train approaching signal, which is one to one. That had given me the clue to ask on because you didn't want a train ass all the way to Weston when he was going to take, say, half an hour to get there. 1957, I got a job at Flax Borton, which is out on the main line. And I was there for 12 years, till they closed the signal box. I don't know who this is, but I took this photograph. That is inside the signal box. There's your levers, a diagram. All the bells and that, up main, down main, all the rod in. There's a good shed there, and just past it is what we call the loading bay. This was an incline, so you could take the brakes off of the wagon with 21 ton in mine, and he'd run down into the side in. Yeah, this is a diagram of the track. A siding going into the what we call the ESO sidings. We had a big derailment at Flaxporton. The derailment was on the 13th of September 1971. I myself was on the night turn when this happened. It happened at 11 o'clock in the daytime. A call train coming down, maybe 45 mile an hour, comes down here. One wheel was off for some reason. I've got to bring him off now. Yeah, he got a crash. So does he pull off to the back, is it? Would no, it no, one of these trucks comes. Well, just bring it up now. You've so got to do it bit by bit. So I'll just take that one up. Yeah, yeah. I'll leave them two to carry on. Yeah. He was off the rails, bouncing all the way down. But when he reached Flaxport, he cracked up and spewed over, and the whole train went all over the place. Huh? Look at that. The main line is bent. There's coal everywhere. Very bad crash. Nobody was injured, though. They called the gangs in from various sections to clear it up. 
And by the way, I had a nice time for about a week because no trains could come through. And I just sat in a box and made cups of tea, a bacon sandwich, things like that. Oh, it was lovely. The night Flax Borton went, they took out Parison Street signal box, West Depot signal box, Flax Borton signal box, Nelsey signal box. They threw a switch somehow and I was on a 2 to 10 turn. I went home at 10 o'clock and I didn't go back. That was it. And it was all made automatic. Well, I was out of work for quite a while and nobody wanted me because an ex-railwayman, what's he good for? But eventually I was lucky I got a job on British Telecom. I ended up a telephone engineer for 20 odd years. The railway now. Now, I haven't been on a train or near a train since I was made redundant. I wouldn't like it myself because we could see the trains going by, we was close up to it. But at the moment now, they got a pan of box in Bristol, they can't see the trains. It's all done on a diagram. But I'd have stayed on the railway had they stayed like that. Uh, thank you for listening. I hope understand it. I'm not very good at this. Yours open anyway. Cheerio.